Hey there, greetings, welcome. Let's go ahead and get that. Nice. Sounds of the bells, I love the bells. And we're here with the loot today. Nice little shot of that. Love this thing, it's been wonderful. It's been such a blessing. Okay, that's enough dinging for now. I love the bells, but the problem with those is that, you know, once you start them, they, they don't, they go on their own. Today I'm talking about psychological manipulation, emotional manipulation, and the direction of a nation, okay? How is it that we have gotten to this point, right? How is it that we have gotten to the point where, you know, we're trying to burn down the capital? You know, did we forget that we're the land of the free, the home of the brave? Did we forget how important our peace is and what has happened? You know, in, in the world, you really only have two things. You have your peace and you have your reasons to disturb the peace. And a lot of it has to do with our outlook. And um, we are really, we are really walking a line of entropy and the trajectory is going down. And there's, I wish I could word this a lot better. I've done a couple of takes on this video already and, you know, it's just, it's just not coming together. But I wanted to mention a couple of things, one of them being the Cassandra Complex as it was mentioned in the movie 13 Monkeys, Cassandra Complex is when you know what's going to happen, but the, the one who knows is powerless to actually do anything about it. Yet we do know that scripture, it's not like anybody who's a prophet is the spirit of Ado, the spirit of Yeshua Jesus, the spirit of Adonai, that's the spirit of prophecy. The gospel of Jesus Christ is the spirit of prophecy because we're talking about an eventuality, okay? You can only deny God for so long and eventually... You know, you, it's like the difference between ones and zeros, a zero until suddenly it's a one. All right. So you want to be on the right side of that equation. Okay. So we can go on and deny and play games and stuff, but eventually that eventuality point is going to be there. And guess what? You're going to be there. You're going to be there. It's here, you know, revelations for real. I don't know whether to be joyful about this or sad or mad or what. Uh, Nazi Germany how did that come about media Stalin was the first one to use leverage the media to leverage um, emotional value in order to push people this way and that way yeah it wasn't Hitler it was Stalin and man our media has a, has our appetites so sharp we want to watch reality shows of people eating weird stuff and, and harming their bodies and things. And, and we watch things like Dexter and we think that that's okay, you know? Like what happened to Mickey Mouse? What happened to Minnie Mouse? What happened to, you know, Tom and Jerry? What happened to uh, Charlie Chaplin? A new normal has been set and we're scraping the bottom of the barrel. Now, now we're, now we're hitting blood. Okay, now we're coming up blood. When we start destroying our nation and when we start, when we allow political parties to, to when, we, when we allow a political affiliation to disrupt our peace, and here's what it is. You know, in the beginning, both the Democrats and the Republicans agreed on, we agreed, okay? We agreed on a singular vision, agreed on which way we were going. And now, instead of the vision being singular, now we're like wall-eyed. One eye's looking over here, the other eye's looking over there. And now what's happened? We can't see what's coming right for us. Okay? And that's, that's how you get destroyed. That's how you get torn apart. May the Lord bless our nation so that those who participated in such a thing have a change of heart and realize what it is that they have done. And may the Lord cause us to turn from our sin and our wicked ways that we may come into a, a, a greater relationship with him. And, you know, in the 1920s, the roaring 20s, it was a time of decadence. It was everything, 
sharp appetites. Every every urge was satisfied. Big old cars, big old limousines. Everything was big and shiny, and you know, just black people were struggling. The rape of a nation. The establishment of an elite caste came at the rape of people of color, okay? And yeah, that's where the lines were drawn. And then once that bubble burst, you know, black people realized we had to leave, we had to hold, it was, it was up to us. People, nobody was there to help us. We had to help one another. We had to help, we had to help one another. And my dad was born in the Great Depression. And it was because of the things that he gave me, the Tom and Jerry's, the, the Walt Disney, the Charlie Chaplin, that I was able to hold on to some sense of high moral value. I can appreciate it. You have to guard the gaze of your eyes and your ears. You have to monitor what it is that you eat. You have to realize what it is that you fasten on to. What are you fastened to? Addictions is so much more than what you eat and drink. You know, anybody who's addicted to anything can't see clearly. And when you're addicted to something, you need it. You need that. It's like a timed thing. You know, if you don't get that fix, you're going to feel that upset. You're going to feel that anxiety, that tension. Watch CNN for like an hour. See how you feel. Okay. You're going to get addicted to that rush. You're going to need it again. There's couples who have broken up because somebody watched CNN too much and they were too, too wired on it. You know, I'm gonna, now here's another topic. I'm going to do something. I like this sweater. This sweater has buttons. What do you do with a button? You fasten it together. Now this side is attached to that side. And I like they just so cute. But I'm going to do something else now. I'm going to, I'm going to fast. So that is to take this desire and I'm going to unfasten it from the world. But I'm going to fasten that onto God. I'm going to take this desire and I'm going to unfasten from what I can see in front of my eyes. I'm going to unfasten from what, what, what my little temporal mind can understand. And I'm going to, I'm going to fasten that onto God. I'm going to fasten that onto time with prayer, resting in his Holy Spirit, spending more time in scripture, grounding, centering, prioritizing those immediate relationships that I have. You know, but coming out of my prayer time to give my very best to those who are in my immediate, my family my loved ones, my church. When Adonai restructures our lives, he reprioritizes what is the most important thing. And when you unfasten from the world, you give that priority to God. You know what he does? Elevator goes up. Highest value. It's just like when you wake up in the morning and you start, you start off your day with prayer. What happens? You start your day with prayer, you're climbing the ladder. And now what? Oh, you can see a lot higher, farther. You go a lot farther. You know what I mean? Instead of going for the low-hanging fruit, you're climbing the tree to get the really high fruit. And it's going to be really delicious because you know it's good. Oh, was there anything else I wanted to mention? The imagination of a generation leads to the morals and values of the next. And the quality of spirit is... We are on a rate of decline. Entropic decay. Trajectory. Bottom of the barrel. Coming up blood. Somebody needs to turn this ship around. How is that going to happen? Prayer, fasting, taking it back, letting God organize your day. I'm going to pause a minute. I don't think there's anything else I wanted to say. Thanks for bearing with me. I apparently can't pluck out a thing on, I can't pluck out a tune on this tonight. I'm just, I don't know what else to say. Um, I just, I don't want for us to go the way of Nazi Germany, you know? And a lot of, as, as Arnold Schwarzenegger said, it wasn't a lot of people who just signed up wholeheartedly. They just followed the way everyone else was going. 
we need to have you, you got to be careful who's who's careful of the pied piper you know you got to let jesus be the one who's steering your ship all right thank you so much for bearing with me thank you for listening let's get these bells going and may the lord bless you and keep you may he cause his face to shine on you and be gracious to you the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Shalom.